Welcome back to DIY December. Today, I'm gonna be making a recipe from this cookbook. And what recipe are we making? Well, I didn't bookmark it, but uh, chocolate chip cookie. We're gonna be taking this classic and putting a little twist on it. Here's what you'll need. by combining all of my dry ingredients together. I have my flour here, and I'm gonna take the salt and plop it in. Gonna add some baking soda as well. Blam, in the bowl it goes. I thought I didn't have a sifter, but I do. It's not fancy, but it'll get the job done. Now in this adorable big bowl with a station wagon on it, I wish I was driving. <laughs> We are going to cream together the butter and both of the sugars. It's time to bring in the power tools. I'm gonna cream all of this together for about four minutes on medium speed until it's light and floofy. Gonna crack my eggies. These are at room temperature, by the way, which I find works way better, especially when you're baking. We need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna take that here, dump that in. You know, sometimes you just gotta take a whisk. I'm gonna put the mixer back on medium speed and I'm going to alternate adding the eggs and the dry ingredients and mix it all together. This looks great, and my arms also feel numb. And now for the chocolate chips. Adding these one cup at a time. Gonna take the almonds and the cocoa nibs and put them in the bowl. And then we're gonna mix. Got some plastic wrap here, and I'm going to cover the bowl so we can put it in the fridge. I'm gonna have a little chill out sesh. Fun fact, the reason why you chill cookie dough is because it solidifies the fat in the mixture, so that way when you put it in the oven, it takes longer for the fats to melt, meaning your cookies aren't gonna spread and like mesh together and become one big giant blob cookie, even though they still probably taste delicious. Have fun, I can't wait to eat you. The dough is ready. I have my handy dandy ice cream scoop here and I'm just gonna scoop them little balls onto the tray. <laughs> just like that. Oh yeah. It says space them three inches apart, BT dubs, so you may wanna do that. Time to get that salt, get that salt. Oh yeah, and not just any salt, it's a smoked salt that smells like bacon. <sighs> I got this from a specialty spice store, but I'm gonna try and find something similar online, so I'll have that link down below if I do. But this is supposed to add like a salty, smoky flavor to the cookie, which makes it different from, you know, the regular salted chocolate chip cookies that you'll see sometimes in bakeries. These are going into an oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees. Come to me. Oh! <laughs> well, I didn't spread them enough, apparently. Baking in real life, baking in real life. <laughs> I'm going to take these and put them on a cooling rack. And even though they were stuck together at once, I think they still look pretty good. All right, the moment has come to taste one of these creations. Well, they are crispy on the outside. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> really good. Please enjoy this music while I just eat this cookie. These are amazing. The smoked salt really adds something special to the cookies. It's so good. I never would have thought 
to do that, mostly because I don't know that smoked salt even existed, but it does. And here we have a beautiful plate of finished cookies. You can make these throughout the year, but they're especially awesome for holiday season because who doesn't love cookies? You can give these away to friends, family, people at work, or you can set them out for Santa. I hate saying goodbye, so let's not make this a goodbye. Let's make it a, I'll see you later, AKA the day after tomorrow. Bye. Uh, I said bye anyway. Oh, hey, beautiful person. If you're curious about this recipe and how you can make it yourself, I found it in Sweet by Valerie Gordon. This is an awesome, amazing, beautiful cookbook by Valerie, who actually has a sweet little cafe in Echo Park that I go to all the time. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite places in LA, and her book is incredible. So I definitely recommend visiting Valerie if you're in LA and getting her book, and at the very least, trying out this recipe. So. I will have the recipe down below for you guys and also a link to where you can get her book. And if you would like to win this Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadow set, which comes with all of these eyeshadows and a primer, the rules for the giveaway will be down below in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out. And that's gonna be it. I'll see you later. <laughs> Shimmy out of the frame. Oh yeah.